What is going to be the most dangerous warship in the world? Which country has built it? And how much will it cost? How does it compare to other ships in terms of performance and capabilities? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer for you today. But first, here's a quick message from our sponsor. As you may already know, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy recently commissioned the Type 003 aircraft carrier, Fujian, which makes it the third aircraft carrier in service for the country. And since China is now only the second country in the world with more than one operational carrier after the United States, many military analysts have been wondering how the two carriers compare to each other and whether there are any meaningful differences between them. As a result, we'll be comparing these two carriers and discussing which one is superior. So what is the most dangerous warship in the world and which country owns it? Well, that depends on your definition of most dangerous. If you mean most expensive, then the winner is the USS Gerald R. Ford, the newest and most modern aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy. This supercarrier displaces 100,000 tons and costs an estimated $13 billion to build. It can carry up to 75 aircraft and is equipped with an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, or EMALS. This technology allows the aircraft carrier to launch more aircraft more quickly and with greater efficiency. It also has advanced arresting gear, or AAG, which allows for more efficient recovery of aircraft. On the other hand, if you mean most capable, then many experts believe that the title belongs to the Chinese Type 003 Fujian, China's third aircraft carrier. The Fujian is the first aircraft carrier to be built entirely in China. The previous two carriers were purchased from Russia. It has a displacement of 80,000 tons and is powered by a new dual magnetic propulsion system. This makes it faster and more maneuverable than the older carriers. Additionally, the Type 003 is the first carrier in the world to feature an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, or EMALS. This technology allows the carrier to launch more aircraft more quickly and efficiently. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, is a critical component of the carrier's advanced technology. This system replaces the traditional steam-powered launch system used on the older carriers with an electric motor-driven launch system. This allows for more efficient and rapid launch of aircraft, which increases the carrier's overall combat capability. Now, what are the weaknesses of the most dangerous warship in the world? Let's discuss that. Well, both the USS Gerald R. Ford and the Type 003 Fujian have their own set of weaknesses. For example, the Ford-class carriers are known to have had numerous setbacks during construction due to the complexity of their design. In fact, the lead ship of the class, the USS Gerald R. Ford, has been in the process of being built for more than a decade and is not yet fully operational. Despite the setbacks, the Ford-class carriers remain an impressive feat of engineering and technology. Their advanced features, such as the electromagnetic launch system and advanced arresting gear, are designed to improve the carrier's overall capabilities and make them more survivable in combat situations. However, these advanced technologies are also complex and require highly trained personnel to operate them. This can be a challenge for the U.S. Navy, which already has a large and complex fleet to maintain. The Ford-class carriers also face a threat from anti-ship missiles and other long-range weapons that could potentially target the carrier and cause significant damage. To counter this threat, the carriers are equipped with advanced air defense systems and electronic warfare capabilities. On the other hand, the Type 003 Fujian also has some notable weaknesses. Despite being the first carrier built entirely in China, it still relies on foreign-made equipment for some of its key systems, such as its combat data network and its weapon control systems. These systems were reportedly purchased from Russian companies, and this could pose a risk to the carrier's reliability and effectiveness. Additionally, the Type 003 lacks experience in actual combat situations. As a result, it is difficult to assess its true capabilities and potential weaknesses. 
The Chinese Navy has conducted live fire drills with the Type 003, but these exercises are not equivalent to actual combat scenarios where the ship would be under attack from multiple angles and using cutting-edge technologies. The Type 003 is also larger and heavier than the previous Chinese carriers, which could affect its maneuverability and seaworthiness. However, it remains to be seen how these issues will impact the carrier's overall performance. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe and leave a comment down below. We love to hear what you have to say, and we wouldn't be able to do this without your support. So thank you very much. Okay, so what is special about the most dangerous warship in the world? Well, let's talk about the USS Gerald R. Ford and the Type 003 Fujian. Both of these carriers have unique features that set them apart from previous generations of carriers. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the first American aircraft carrier to feature an electromagnetic aircraft launch system or EMALS. This system uses linear induction motors to launch aircraft, allowing for more efficient and rapid launches. It also has an advanced arresting gear or AAG system that allows for more efficient recovery of aircraft. The AAG system uses a series of linear motors and hydraulics to bring aircraft to a stop quickly and safely on the flight deck. These advanced features help to increase the carrier's overall combat capability and make it more survivable in high-threat environments. Additionally, the USS Gerald R. Ford has a new dual-band radar system that provides improved air traffic control and surveillance capabilities. The ship also features a new weapons elevator design that reduces the risk of accidents and improves the overall efficiency of weapons handling. The Type 003 Fujian also boasts several unique features. One notable feature is its use of a dual magnetic propulsion system, which allows for more efficient and powerful movement through the water. The Type 003 also features an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, or EMALS, similar to the USS Gerald R. Ford. However, the EMALS system on the Type 003 was reportedly developed independently by Chinese engineers without any foreign assistance. Another unique feature of the Type 003 is its integrated electric propulsion system, which allows for more precise and efficient maneuvering of the ship. The Type 003 also has a new type of island superstructure that is designed to improve the ship's stealth characteristics and reduce its radar signature. This new design also helps to improve the ship's stability and seaworthiness in rough weather conditions. In terms of speed, the USS Gerald R. Ford has a top speed of 30 knots, while the Type 003 Fujian has a top speed of 35 knots. This means that the Type 003 is faster than the USS Gerald R. Ford. However, it is important to note that these speeds are based on estimates and projections, as the actual performance of the Type 003 has not yet been publicly assessed. In terms of range, the USS Gerald R. Ford has a range of 13,000 nautical miles, while the Type 03 Fujian has a range of 6,000 nautical miles. This means that the USS Gerald R. Ford has a longer range than the Type 003. The range of a ship is determined by several factors, including the ship's speed, fuel capacity, and hull design. The USS Gerald R. Ford's longer range is likely due to its larger size and fuel capacity compared to the Type 003. Now, when it comes to the crew, the USS Gerald R. Ford has a crew of 5,000 sailors, while the Type 003 Fujian has a crew of approximately 2,000 sailors. This means that the USS Gerald R. Ford has a larger crew than the Type 003. The crew size of a ship can vary depending on the ship's size, mission, and capabilities. The USS Gerald R. Ford is a larger and more capable ship than the Type 03, which can accommodate a larger crew. In terms of cost, the USS Gerald R. Ford is estimated to cost around $13 billion, while the Type 03 Fujian is estimated to have cost around $3 billion to build. This means that the USS Gerald R. Ford is significantly more expensive than the Type 003. The cost of building a warship can vary depending on the ship's size, capabilities, and technology. The USS Gerald R. Ford is a more advanced and capable ship than the Type 003. 
which explains the higher cost. Overall, both the USS Gerald R. Ford and the Type 03 Fujian are impressive feats of engineering and technology. They are the most modern and advanced aircraft carriers in their respective countries' fleets, and they represent the latest in warship design and capabilities. However, there are some clear differences between the two carriers. The USS Gerald R. Ford is larger, more capable, and more expensive than the Type 003. It also has a longer range, but the Type 003 is faster and has a more advanced email system that was developed entirely in China. Ultimately, it remains to be seen how these two carriers will perform in actual combat situations. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on future videos. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.